Is there a crisis in the countryside? Molly Deneen's recent Channel 4 documentary, The Lie of the Land, suggested that was the case. Shown first on national television in early May, the Royal Society for the Encouragement of Arts, Manufactures and Commerce held a public screening on Monday the 21st of May, after which Deneen, along with journalist Rosie Boycott and farmer Glyn Pearman, who featured in the film, discussed the impact of the documentary and the problems facing the farming industry. Nearly 200 people attended from farm leaders, rural interest NGOs and other bodies, along with fellows of the society. FWI was there too to hear what they had to say. I am embarrassed to say that I can earn a decent living out of producing pheasants for sport, for the leisure industry, and I cannot make a living, and I really cannot make a living out of my farm producing beef and corn. Now, somehow, somewhere, the priority is going to be from the That's my worry about organic farming. Because organic farming is extremely good, and the idea is good. But I, I do feel that the, it's, you cannot feed the nation, you cannot run well, the nation with Bethlehem, who I hope to come in this evening. Is there anyone in Bethlehem yet? No, because I asked them too late. But they said that the supermarkets were the great success story of this country. It was not their business to interfere with it at any point because it delivered deflation to each government. Every government will obviously um, stick with the same policy and the four big suppliers will continue to produce food. Uh, As people start recognising what it costs to produce a litre of milk, and it costs 23, 24 pence per litre to produce to the standards that we expected. And we are receiving 17, 18 p. It's the same in the beef sector. But until society and the food chain start recognising that there's a true cost of production, farmers will hold on long enough, but eventually they just walk away from the land. And that is when the infrastructure goes. So I think society needs to wake up. I think the major retailers need to wake up. And I... uh, thank you. Uh, David Thurston, I'm still a president, but also a farmer from death. I just wanted to ask Molly, really, what the reaction had been since the a film had come out because one of the things I think that is really important is that we actually end up with consumers actually looking at what they buy, being more interested in what they buy, possibly paying more for what they buy than they have done up until now. But it does require an education process and I think that your film has started uh, an education process where it's part of that education process. I'd love to know what response you've had since you've produced it and whether you feel that there's any way we are actually going to educate the consumer as a result of your film and other things. The response I've had in my little bubble is newspaper previews and reviews. That's the tragedy. I mean, you, because telly just it goes out um, and that's it. And the, 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 I think that Glyn and the other characters in the film have had a lot of response, a lot of reaction, a lot of questions. Um, yes, and, I, and I'm pleased to say that the people who have spoken to me have said exactly that, that has made them really think twice about where their food comes from. Um, do you think if you get political, it's, it's worth approaching government? Do you not think that since they've already deferred this to supermarkets and said you can run the feed industry essentially, which is what I felt they were saying to me, that then it's the supermarkets and actually we have the power to be paid? So how would you like to see agriculture portrayed? The session raised more questions than answers, so why not share your views at www.fwi.co.uk forward slash forums. FWI, making the farming connection.